In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a table of value that shows relationship between the month of the year and that of the temperature and these recorded values will be inputted first and we are going to transform this table of values that is shown right here to a visual representation and this visual representation is called a bar chart as shown right here. This is not only looking at the bar chart, but specifically the beautiful detail that comes with it. It is three-dimensional, it has colors that represent different months, and this shows the Y and the X axis, the titles of each axis, and also the title of the overall graph. So we're going to build a beautiful bar chart that will bless everyone that looks at it and be impressed by how you actually create this using Excel. So let's jump right into this. The first step is to record all the information that was recorded and transfer it to the Excel spreadsheet. And once you're able to do that, we can be able to build our table of values on Excel. Now, first is to pick any space of your choice. I'll pick A1 and by so doing, I can type in here the title of your x axis which is in this case the x column called month of the year this doesn't have a unit so we are fine with that next is to move to the next cell and this can be done either by moving your mouse and you can see the symbol which is across and it is moved here and you tap on it or we hit the tab and it actually moves right there so now we're going to type the title of our y-axis which is called temperature and the unit remember is in degrees now degrees is kind of hard to pull off but all you can do is just go to symbol on the insert and once you click on symbol we can find a couple of symbols that might be useful in this case i found this this might be really definitely important for our degree symbol and once you hit on insert we are good to go hit close and then we're able to continue typing our information here so what you can do is just type your c celsius and bracket close in here we see that the front size is not the best at it and so what we can do for the front size is to change it to something like you know 11 to keep it consistent all across the board now once we have this our next step is to type in all the results that we gathered these are the dependent variables in this case our x and the x is the month of the year you start with january hit tab negative 20 degrees hit enter for the next cell at the bottom february move to the right negative 25 hit enter so this is how you're able to record your information on the spreadsheet by showing that yes we're getting the information from any written source and we're transferring it here to move on to our next step the visual representation of this particular information that is gathered using this particular software the next step is for the information that we've recorded already on our spreadsheet what we're going to do is to transform all this information into a visual representation which is a bar chart and to do that all you have to do is click on the beginning of your table click hold and drag down to the last cell at the right which is on the y axis and so once you release we can now move on to the next step which is to figure out where to find insert bar chart and what we can do is go to insert click on it and you should be able to figure out which regions creates those form of chart and we can see that there are a couple of icons that are on the charts and all these icons you need to be able to realize which one best fits this particular type of information that you've recorded and if any idea might be challenging to address this particular information you can click on recommended charts and once you click on this you can see variations of how your chart can be represented as in this case we can see clustered column this is a line chart this is a pie chart recommended this is a stacked area now this here is waterfall and there are so many more options that are suggested right here this is funnel and finally here this is pireto 
chart so i would suggest you looking at this which one you feel is most important then you go for it they, they actually tell you what the significance of each cut or chart mean and how they are required in order for you to effectively decide on what form of representation that you want for the purpose of this video we're going to stick with cluster column and once you click on this and you type or click on ok we are going to have boom our chart created right over here and what we see are a couple of things that are fascinating in terms of one you're given a title but you feel that this doesn't give you the best communication on this particular chart and the next step is to be able to promote effective communication to transform this into a much more understanding chart and visually stunning chart the next step is add-ons to a chart using this particular icon right here as you touch, click on this you're going to see on the top right couple of icons that are necessary for you to enhance the communication of this overall graph and what to do is click on the plus you're going to see a couple of things to include to this chart or graph you can include of course axis title and this actually without clicking on it you can actually have a preview of what to expect when you want that or whether you want it or not so in this case axis titles will be highly important enough for you to enhance communication when it comes to data labels you don't really need that except you want visually you know um representation of that particular height of your bar to be shown without people getting the ruler to trace it this is actually an alternative uh, but it's not really necessary this one here is not really necessary for this particular table and also error bars not really necessary but highly suggested for high level you know science or mathematical representation or investigation legend not really because sometimes you know you might need to change the colors of your bar and maybe that might be useful but for the purpose of this is not really necessary trend line this might be useful in terms of how the overall lineup of your temperatures which are the minimums or maximum bars are shown in here and how they trend overall is they trend upwards they trend downwards this shows the upward trend overall and this is what we want to take away from your chart element in this particular chart right here so those are the necessary things to keep in mind we're going to stick with axis titles and we're going to stick with the overall graph name next is to clarify the titles and this can be done by clicking on any particular title of your choice in this case we have temperature so all you can do is to have a really concrete description of what this particular graph is all about and all you have to say is that month of the year versus temperature and that is a simplified form you can go extensive but th for the purpose of this particular chart make sure you have the x relationship with the y relationship highlighted most importantly with their unit on the title now the next one here is the axis title all you just do is click on the any of the space within the area and you can now type here title of the y-axis so temperature uh, make sure you have the units which is in this case degrees all you have to do is go to insert go to symbol and we are going to find our degree symbol click on insert click on close and then finally click press your solutions and then put your bracket close and you're good to go your x-axis all you have to do is change the title to month of the year of course the month of the year continues you now for past june but for the purpose of this video you could have to just you know put down month of the year and then you can uh yeah first half of the year that would be perfect for this particular graph right here and so once you have this done our next step is to purify you know the table or uh, in this case specifically the bars and so beautifying the bars is really important here because you want to clarify 
various or uh, distinguish one particular month from the other and to do that all you have to do is just click specifically on the specific bar of your choice because we are only clicking January if you just click on one particular bar at first you see all the months are highlighted that means that if I change the color by either changing it to green you know, everything turns green and that is not what we want we want to differentiate one month from the other in order for you to do that all we have to do is make sure you click again on that specific month and once you have that done you click on fill and whatever color you want that will be important for that month and this goes on we'll pick this to be gray and for june yellow yeah that's perfect and let's for the purpose of this video let's keep april green and let's change our february to let's go with red and so now we have this actually shown for our month in terms of colors and it's really fantastic much better than how it was before now the next part is to now transform these into a three-dimensional take a couple of notable adjustments that can be made is you can actually change the overall grade of this graph uh, for the purpose of this since it is bar chart the ones that are really important is mainly the the horizontal lines that are shown because the horizontal line will enable you to trace what the y value is for each bar height another thing that is pretty cool with this particular graph is this particular icon and what we see is once you click on chart filter you can actually highlight specific months that you want let's say for example if you want to describe the chart for january or the record for january all you do is you know highlight the one that you want uh, by you know clicking on it and so once you unclick on a couple of month leaving the other one what we're going to have and you click apply that is what we have so we have just january but in this case to so our february all you do is click on it uh, click on march you want to include april you want to include may you want to include june and once you have that and you hit apply then everything appears so i think this is really cool in terms of highlighting specific months to explain in your chart or in your report as you move along in here and then finally is to transform these into a three-dimensional take on your bar chart and in order to do that all you have to do is go specifically to column or bar chart icon and once you do that we have a couple of options we have two dimension as you navigate through you can see the adjustments that are made ideally we want something really cool fantastic and distinct and so i would suggest for myself um, going with this one right here and so once you have that done this is how it looks like and this is really fantastic because we can see a couple of things that are really impressive based on specific um, heights of the chart however the only limitation with this is that when it comes to charts like this it's really difficult to figure out what the actual value of your temperature is within the y-axis to overcome that this is encouraged by actually going to the plus sign and once we go to the plus sign we go to data labels and once you go to data labels this it actually give you the required type of setup that we want in this case this is the only setup that is provided where we see that our uh, january has the minimum to be negative 20 and you can adjust this to whatever position you want it to be therefore for january that is negative 20 we can just drag it down here for february we can drag it to this particular position march and june so i hope you found this really informative in terms of overcoming this particular challenge and how you can be able to present your table in such a way that it is accurate it is easy to read easy to follow and also brings that aesthetic of the three-dimensional look of the bars with respect to where are the minimums and maximums for each bar as shown on this graph 
Hope you found this really informative. Let me hear your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. By that way, I can talk to you all soon. Stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.